Let me just sip my wine, child. Welcome back to my channel. I am on our elephant for those who don't know. I hope you guys are doing good So as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a life update um, Video, I'm just gonna be catching you guys up on what's been happening with me these past few months What's been going on because child a lot has been going on, okay? But if you are interested in hearing all of that, then please do continue watching and please don't forget to like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also to turn on your post notifications so that you can get a notification every time I post and also to subscribe so that you can become a member of the Double O Gang, 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 gang. Why is my tongue already bubble? But anyway guys, <laughs> subscribe, 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 um, road to 30k, we are so, so close, like this close okay subscribe you're almost there and i would love to have you a part of our gang gang if you're not already a member but anyway guys without further ado let us get into this video um i'm just having some red wine i'm having mello um just for enough you know because this will hopefully help me out but anyway i'm just having some wine i hope you guys are comfortable wherever you are and yeah i also just made some notes over here because i don't want to just be rambling so don't mind me if i'm looking on my phone so what's been going on these past few months well basically for those who don't know i am in botch i came to botch because of my studies at the northwest university botch stream campus and um home is in pretoria right so the past few months have not been easy on me things just started getting crazy i think it was first semester of this year third year was just coming in hot it was just coming in hot guns blazing pa, 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 pa. who you thought you were like it was just doing the most okay so i remember i would go home and i'd be in pretoria and I just didn't want to come back when it was time for me to come back to this place i would just be so depressed i would just be crying i remember when my parents would drop me off like at the bus and everything like i would just be crying like i don't want to leave i don't want to go back to that place the only thing that was making me happy um in botch was my boyfriend and my friends honestly other than that nothing nada okay and if you are like somebody who watches my vlogs and everything in my videos you would know that i've just been frequenting home more often than like usual like you know <laughs> i have not been happy in this place i have not been okay but has not been my happy place for a very long time i started going to therapy i think in my second year it was the time when i moved to this specific apartment and everything was going so well with therapy for me at the time and then lockdown just happened and it just threw everything off because i just felt like now there wasn't that connection between me and my therapist because it was online and i'm just like it's not gonna be slapping the same like now imagine i'm pouring out my emotions to you and i'm crying and then the network the wi-fi is saying cut for the girls and i'm here crying so i was just like this is not gonna work for me right now i can't do this and she did reach out and be like hey like if you do want to have sessions this is how we can go about it but like via zoom calls and everything and i was just like um yeah no so i just retracted i stopped going to therapy and i just felt like it wasn't working i prefer like face to face that's how i feel like it's the most effective for me i had a couple of sessions but they were not enough um so i stopped therapy around lockdown like, i don't know like i feel like i should just tell you guys because there's no way for me to talk about the other points on these notes without actually telling you what's a guan and what is going on let me just sip my wine <laughs> i'm sure you guys have been noticing i have been getting a lot of questions on my channel where i would post a vlog and somebody would always ask and comment like i've been seeing you guys don't think that i haven't been seeing your comments i've just been mising and deleting them but trust me i've been seeing them I would get comments like hey Ona, like are you still a student how's academics going and then i remember i would tell some people like yeah I, i'm still a student you know and someone was like oh it's just that we don't get like university content anymore you know and stuff like that and 
honestly i really stopped university content a very long time ago because i wasn't enjoying it anymore felt like every single time i would come on camera i would want to just complain and be like school is showing me flames i'm going through the most and i didn't want that because that's just negativity and i don't like negativity on my channel you know so to answer your question i decided that i was just going through the most um in terms of my mental health it was very very at risk like it was very critical i just took the decision it was a very not easy decision at all i basically decided to pause my studies um and take a break from school at the moment it's been a very long time guys like i've not been a student for a really long time it's been a couple of months now like almost five almost five months now that i have not been a student and i did not tell you guys immediately when i made this decision because it was just a lot for me to take in as well like the transition and i just wanted to deal with everything in my own space in my own time i remember one time i was watching Aaliyah, Aaliyah's video and she just said that like when you're going through something don't involve people first like go through it process it and then once you're good and not so emotional then you can sit down and address it and that's absolutely what i wanted to do and i felt like that was the best decision for me um i'm good now i'm less emotional i can talk about it and straight up facts with you guys i just wanna i just wanna get myself right because right now i am very i'm just i don't know i really don't know right now what's going on with me but i just want to sort out myself and be good because school was not it was not helping it was not making things easier i was just falling behind i was becoming overwhelmed guys it was so so bad i remember laying on this bed okay and there would be days when i wouldn't get up there would just be days when i would not get out of bed every single day i would call my mom i'm crying like it was a routine she knew that when this child when i call her something is gonna be wrong and my boyfriend as well like he's the one that saw everything firsthand and then my friends obviously afterwards but and those days when i would not want to get out of bed would not want to be around people would not want to do anything like i just felt like i was in such a dark space and i really didn't like that for myself i was having panic attacks like it was just not cute at all and the thing is it might not have shown a lot of people might not have noticed that i was not okay like especially on camera and my videos and it's just that like when i'm on camera and vlogging that was my happy place like that was my escape from reality like just talking to you guys and obviously i'm not going to show you guys when i'm down at the bottom and i'm having those bad days every single day because it was an every single day thing i was just going through the most and yeah guys like I was just going through the most just thinking about it just makes me just a little bit emotional but yeah i'm good now firstly before actually telling my parents and everyone i obviously did my research i contacted the school and i was like hey is it possible to like pause my studies and they were like yeah it's possible to pause your studies and i actually didn't know that was possible until i saw from Sese, um Kuse Lupinda's video she actually spoke about pausing and i was like okay so that doesn't mean that i have to actually drop out but i can actually like pause my studies i was like great you know just take a break just do me you know and i was like that's great so shout out to her because that's where i saw that it was possible so with this decision of mine obviously came with me having to tell my parents and just what i'm going through because my mom as well she knew like my mom and i talk every single day so she could tell that i was not okay but i'm sure for her it was just the thing after like you know she'll be good she'll be better when i told my mom like she was very supportive of the decision like you know she was very very supportive like one thing about that and then i saw my dad oh my god i saw my dad when i was like i was at i was home hey and my dad was worse because i had to tell him face to face like it was a lot but one thing i will always say is my parents are so supportive my number one supporter is in Shabini, in Shabini. and obviously they were like girl like you know it's your last year why don't you just like you know finish and everything like that but i just told them what i like guys 
if I just push it out, I'm gonna finish. I am gonna finish, I'm gonna deplete. I think one thing that also like assured my appearance and like made them comfortable with like supporting me and everything even more was that they knew that I was just not gonna be sitting at home on my ass not doing anything. Um, because I have been a working girl, I have been making my own bag, I have been miss independent you know as you guys have seen if you watch my vlogs like the growth from where i started from as on our event and where i am now like yeah oh see but i just feel like my parents were just reassured by that and they have seen like how i have been you know just doing things the, the past few months like these past few months i've been busy you guys have seen that i've been busy um and i love that for myself i remember telling my friends as well and they also saw me like just breaking down and I was not okay, I was really not happy and just telling them that this is what I think I want to do and you know guys like one thing I will say, I don't want to get emotional, but one thing I want to say is shout out to my friends and my, my, my parents and my boyfriend like one thing is that their support has been crazy because a lot of times you know if it was another if it was some other people or a different situation they would have judged me immediately and be like no you can't do that you're doing your last year you can't afford to do that you gotta graduate you know and my friends as well they were just like girl do what you gotta do we knew that you were gonna tell us this and we are so proud of you because like i'm choosing myself i'm choosing my mental health and i'm so grateful for their support because i don't think I would be where I am right now if it was not because of their support and I'm just so grateful shout out to you guys love you guys <laughs> so yeah and then how am I feeling now um of course like you know I still have my bad days and days where I still struggle like I still really have anxiety like mad like really really crazy like overall i'm doing so so good i'm so proud of myself i remember the day that i got the news that my studies were actually paused like i felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders you guys have also been commenting on my videos like hey girl you're glowing love to see you so happy and i'm like mm, if you guys only knew <laughs> so what are my plans for next year so i'm going back home guys i'm going back home like moving out i'm moving out of this place i can't wait to leave this place like it's been good but it's time for me to bounce i'm leaving potch <laughs> i can't wait like you guys know how tired i am of this place like i'm done like honestly Mm. I've been in this place for eight years. I've been in Watch for eight years, guys. I've been here since I started high school. Um, so yeah. it's time for me to bounce. In my mind, like you know, immediately after graduating, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get my own apartment, you know, just move out. But guys, like for me, living alone has not been easy. It has been very draining. Yeah, so I just feel like right now what's best for me is to just go back home and there's nothing wrong with going back home People always think like when you go back home like Peli Ling, she's not making it, you know, but that's not the case I'm going back home because of my mental health. I feel like I need the support of my family I need to be around my family as well um, I do want to go back to therapy as well. So I feel like doing that while I'm at home will just benefit me but yeah i'm sure you guys are asking yourself and i know you guys are asking yourself okay what's gonna happen with you and Pavalo? like are you guys still together are you guys guys we're still very much together he's still working in botch and i'm gonna be in pretoria but i'm just so glad that like botch in pretoria is like just here not just my relationship with him but my friendships as well like it's gonna be long distance but in terms of my relationship this is not the first time like us doing um long distance we have done long distance before so we are not really like bothered about that but yeah like in terms of my degree i still do want to finish my studies um it's just that i feel like when i do resume my studies i would rather prefer doing it long distance while being at home but i still do want to graduate i still want to wear the gown i still want my family to be there like when i'm graduating like don't get me wrong like i still really want that for myself i still want to get that you know yeah it's just not right now like i just have to put myself first and just work on myself i'm so excited like for this part of my life and the new honor for now the new honor elephant this is honor elephant not as a student 
but i don't feel like it's gonna be a very big adjustment because i have not been posting university content for a long time so right now basically i'm a full-time content creator i'm a full-time youtuber well i have been for like a minute now it's just that you guys didn't know but now you know and that's on period okay you know a lot of people might not understand this decision and that's okay but i just feel like right now this was the best decision for myself and our journeys are not going to be the same right now i'm just doing me own what own lane own race own pace own lane whatever that is but that do you know what i'm talking about yeah also we are put under so much pressure like graduate in pretty good time and you have to get the degree at this time and that's it's okay if you don't hey like it's really okay and for me it was just so scary that i was just breaking the norms like everyone is, was expecting me to graduate like basically this was supposed to be my last year but that's okay and i hope whoever's watching this video and even if you're not graduating in record time if you're taking a break or you dropped out or something related to university like that you know it's okay it's okay it's okay we're breaking the norms but yeah guys that is basically what has been going on in my life i felt like it was just very important to also just share this with you guys well you guys have been there with me from day one and i really appreciate it and i felt like it was only right just like letting you guys into this next chapter if i should call it of my life and i'm so excited i am so much happier um i'm in a better place compared to what i was i'm so proud of myself for choosing my mental health as well i felt like that was a really important decision a very difficult one but a very important decision for myself to make um but yeah guys that is basically all from me for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this life update i hope you guys got a little bit of more clarity on what's been going on and yeah we're going into vlogmas december into the new year you know i just wanted to start it off on a clean note but yeah guys that is all from me for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe 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 road to 30 thug 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 I'm so excited and yeah guys please do leave me a comment down below um i would love to hear what you guys thought of this video and that is all from me thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye clink clink cheers guys